Hi everyone, this is Jay and today I'm going to show you how to apply the Fujifilm Eterna Film Simulator Profile on a Sony um, S-Log2 video file. Alright, so first things first. Uh, we'll need a software to apply the LUT and for today we're going to use the DaVinci Resolve 16 program. We'll also need the Fujifilm cube file for the lookup table and of course you'll need your camera, your Sony camera. The first thing you want to do is grab your camera and make sure that you set your pr picture profile to PP7 that is the S-Log2 uh, video profile as well as making sure that you're setting your exposure uh, to plus two. You want to overexpose for S-Log2. Alright, so I used my Sony a6300 to grab some footage outside and I wanted to compare how it would look with standard versus um, a video profile with Eterna applied to it. Alright, so first things first, download and install uh, DaVinci 16. This is going to be the software that we'll use to apply the LUT or lookup table for Eterna. Um, you can also use Premiere Pro and there's a lot of other softwares that do this. Um, Resolve 16 is a free software, so you do need to register the, the program and they'll let you download it for free. Alright, so once we're here, we will create a new project. Um, here it is. I have the two files right here. And just for a quick comparison, that is standard, and this is my s log 2 video so as you can see the one on the left is standard has full range of colors and the one on the right s log 2 is a flat color profile and this is the one that we'll use to apply our eterna profile all right so drag these two here um, it'll ask to change the frame rate whatever you use that's what we'll use for the video and just leave that alone for a second go to this website um, the links will be in my in the video description by the way so this is the lookup table for Eterna click here to download the file uh, you do have to unzip it and I've done all of that it's actually right here so you can download this file, it comes with all of these files. You'll only need to get the one from XT3. Um, close that and we're actually going to use the S-Log file here back on DaVinci. So just drag it down, create a timeline, right click, actually sorry you will want to go to the bottom right click here go to color management and open LUT folder these are all the LUTs that's installed with your uh, DaVinci Resolve program so what we can do is create a new folder um, and give credit to Fujifilm and let me see let me Windows D minimize everything opening XT3 and then open LUT folder again side by side and then Fujifilm we're just gonna drag all of these here alright that's it close this Close this, click update list, so we can save it, 
and we have the slog2 file up here now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna color this file in terms of initial tweaks let's see if we can do just a tad brighter just a slight s alright so now we can right click this go to LUTs 3D LUT go to the Fujifilm and Eterna so that has the profile applied to it um, we can actually tweak this a bit more that's without, that's with that was shift D by the way and it has that Eterna cinematic look to it this is actually at 24 frames per second so I'm gonna do this to each file that I have uh, that I filmed earlier out in the yard and we'll see what I come up with but just to go over it again you do have to tweak um, you know all of these settings a little bit I could actually tweak this a bit more but in the interest of time we'll skip all of that So that's it for the video hopefully this helps some of you guys who are wondering how to apply the Eterna uh, profile onto your Sony S-Log2 videos um, this is a really cool profile it has a cinematic look to it I've watched a lot of other youtubers who had it for slow motion and it looked really nice um, if you have any comments or questions just drop me a message thanks see ya